are back on the road to Mandalay, but we are going to take a quick break from the cars to chat with Stanley Go, President and CEO of Shamrock Holdings, Roy E. Disney, private investment company, and a big fan of Ido Ranch Rally. Stanley, can you tell us more about your beautiful car? Sure. We, we bought the car about uh, 10, 12 years ago, built it especially for track racing, <clears throat> mostly in Europe. This car has run uh, 24 hours at Madame de Cour in France, it's run Nürburgring uh, in Germany, it ran uh, Harama in Spain, uh, it's done a lot of uh, uh, at Le Mans uh, Classic it, it, it's run, and so we ran it for oh probably about 10 years as a race car, uh, and had a lot of success with it, had some fun with it, and then about uh, uh, three, four years ago, I got the idea of doing endurance adventure racing, as I call it. Yes. Uh, and uh, we prepared, or more importantly, Brant prepared the car to run uh, uh, Peking uh, to Paris, which is about an 8,000 mile, 33 uh, uh, day rally. 33 day. Uh, that, uh, that goes through the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, up into Siberia, along the, uh, um, uh, the Russian Railroad, Trans Siberian Railroad. And, uh, into the Ukraine and then down through uh, Western, Central and Western uh, Europe to Paris. And it survived. So it, it, it'll run over dirt, it'll run over desert. And do you have to change the wheel when you have to go to all that desert or uh, the rough road? We're using original factory wheels, but we did put special tires on it. Okay. Good for all terrain. For so you have the spare part rain. follow you yeah. to well, the no, no, we have to, we're self-sufficient. We carry everything we need in the car. Wow. Everything. So what happened in this, um, this, this trip? What is uh, the journey and where are you heading to? Yes, well, we start uh, in Singapore. We spend about 10 days in Malaysia, 10 days in Thailand, and about six days in uh, Myanmar or Burma. Uh, and we're, uh, we're now into the ninth day. So we've, uh, we've got some of it done, but we've got a big journey ahead of us. And the roads- It's all about the finish. Yeah, and the roads get worse as you, uh, uh, as you go north. You are quite well known in terms of Mr. Porsche man because it seems like you love Porsche and then uh, people people much wondering that what makes you uh, fond of this car very much. Well, uh, I, don't, I think it's an exaggeration to call me Mr. Porsche, but, uh, uh, but I do have a big collection of Porsches and, uh, and uh, I love the cars. One, I think they're beautiful, but more importantly, they're reliable and dependable. Uh, they start in the morning, they always go, uh, and that for me is the, the most important thing because uh, I have very little tolerance for a car that breaks. What, what is your first Porsche? Which one? 1972 914. 1972. A bit older than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what? Uh, I was a young man then too. <laughs> so now you have a collection of the Porsche. Yes. How, how many do you have in your garage now? Well, or do you need to build a whole building for that? Uh, I have <laughs> built a whole building for it. Uh, uh, I have a 10 guard garage. You're having <laughs> fun with all his Porsche. <laughs> a lot of work. Yes. I think, one time, I think uh, I'm jealous of your job now. Cars, yeah. cars. I had 24, 25 cars. We're down to about uh, 12, 13 cars today. Well, so that means that you will leave this one in Phuket for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have having now. Can you show us um, the, your car? because it's now parking beautifully in the uh, parking of the Pullman Hotel. Yep. We love to see and then maybe Brad, you tell us the, about the special and how beautiful of the car when we see at the car. At it the needs a bath. <laughs> but, okay, it needs a bath, yeah, okay. This is beautiful. Can you tell me how you do you, how do you land this car? Well, we took a regular street car and we raised it up quite a bit, beefed up the suspension, put a yes. hundred liter fuel tank in it, uh, bigger brakes, uh, lower compression motor. Because some places in the world the fuel is not as good as other places. The thing that stands out the most 
is the roof rack. Uh, mm -hmm. We had to have a place because the car is small to keep spare tires and tools and a few things like that. So I made an aluminum roof rack. Is that light? Uh, that's very light, yeah. only weighs 60 pounds. Is this, is this button when you push and it's get the massage on the back? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very comfortable seat. Even yes. the lumbar support put for in. The support. For the lumbar. Okay. Wow. That's good. So Matt, this is the engine. Look at that. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little on the dirty side because the road was pretty nasty the last couple of days, but it's a six cylinder, two liter engine, uh, special internal components to give it more mid-range torque on the stages and stuff. Puts out about 160 horsepower, which is pretty, pretty reliable. Uh, it's an air-cooled engine. Uh, we put extra oil coolers in the car to uh, keep the oil temperature down. It's been running at constant 180 degrees, 175, which is beautiful. Porsche is best known for its dependability and its reliability, and that's what we have. That's why, we, that's why we're here in the Porsche. We're Porsche guys. Wow. Is it possible that we can hear the noise of the engine? You want to hear some noise? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, we can do that for you. the car with Phil Gallag and look at the, all the equipment in here. Phil, can you explain to me? I'm lost here with all <laughs> these things. I'm not surprised. Yeah, we have a lot of technology in here to try and help us compete effectively in the rally. Yes. We've got things like our trip meters, which cover tell us exactly the distance that we've traveled and the speed that we're going at. We have two of those in case one breaks. We have stopwatches to make sure that we are exactly on time. Yes. The rally runs to a very specific time to the second, so everything has to be very precise. And then we have, sometimes we have a sat nav, satellite navigation device to help us in very tight and twisty areas. But the car as a whole is a 1937 Chevrolet, so it's 78 years old. So most of the technology of the car itself, not the navigational equipment, is very, very old. Very original. Mm, it's all very original. And how long do you have this one for? We've had this car for about uh, five years and we've competed in a number of big endurance rallies including one from Beijing to Paris. Is that uh, last year? Yes, that was 2013, the, the Peking Paris Rally as it's called. Mm -hmm. We won that rally in this car, so we're trying to do our best on the road to Mandalay. Okay, well, I'm sure that with your lucky teddy bear... Yeah, we good, have our lucky teddy bear. Yes, lucky we'll, bring, we'll bring you <laughs> there safe and then uh, in a good time. We had difficulty at the border with our lucky teddy bear because he forgot his passport. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive and you're very thirsty and need a gin tonic, you can press this one. You can press that and the butler will come and bring you a gin and tonic. I wish. Well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> now, I got a fantastic news to tell you. Phil offered me to join him ride to Mandalay trip. So I think I will not say no to this opportunity. You will see me later, okay? If I make it back. Bye-bye. <laughs>